welcome to Grade 5 Science Plus. Today, we're going to discuss about the female reproductive system and its functions. The parts of the female reproductive system are the fallopian tubes, the uterus, the ovaries, the cervix, and the vagina. Take a look at the picture. We're going to discuss about the parts of the female reproductive system. The fallopian tubes. The uterus. The ovaries. The cervix. And the vagina. And for the side view cat, on the red, that is the fallopian tube. In green, that is the ovary. In blue, that is the uterus. In white, that is the cervix. In yellow, the vagina. And in pink, the vulva. So this is the side view cat. And for the function of the different parts of the female reproductive system, here are the fallopian tubes. It is also called the oviduct. It is a tube that leads the egg from the ovary to the uterus. This is also the place where the egg is fertilized by the sperm cell. So next is the uterus. This is also called the womb. It is an upside down pear shape where the unborn baby is developed. It has soft, smooth, and inner lining called the uterine lining or the endometrium. Next is the ovary. Females have two ovaries. The ovary produces egg cells and female sex hormones that is the estrogen and the progesterone and about 70,000 egg cells present in the ovaries and only 500 egg cells will mature. The matured egg cell is released one by one every month during puberty until it reaches the 45 to 55 years old. So next is the cervix. This is a narrow opening between the uterus and the vagina. It enlarges and expands to let the fetus pass during birth. And the last one is the vagina. This is also called the birth canal. It is a hollow muscular tube that lead the opening called the vulva. It expands to let the baby pass through during normal delivery.